Hey, this is Adam from NerdsDoItBetter.com coming at you with another video. Um, I was doing research the other night and I came across something strange. I noticed that one of the AdWords ads had more than 25 of the allotted characters. So check this out. So if you look at the top, the headline is Online Internet Advertising, which has 28 characters, which is more than Google's normally allowed 25 characters. Um, that's Vocus. I thought for a moment perhaps Google was giving them a free pass because they were big and their name is a mix of Focus and Volcano. However, upon further research, I found that this was not the case. In fact, getting extra characters is something that you can do, and I'm going to show you how to do, with something called Dynamic Keyword Insertion. And I'm going to show you how to set this right up. So with Dynamic Keyword Insertion, we're saying, hey Google, insert this keyword dynamically. And we're saying it that emphatically. So here's an example. You have an ad group, it's called Online Advertising. You're going to be targeting people who want to advertise online. These are our keywords. Internet ads, online internet advertising, web advertising, and Alta Vista advertising for those who are looking to advertise to people who are in the early 90s. Any of these keywords we'd love to show up for, and we'd be happy to have any of them in our headline. This will prevent us from having to do four different ad groups. Now, to do dynamic keyword insertion, when you create a text ad, you simply use the following. You put curly brackets, you put the word keyword semicolon. Then you put a word that you will allow in there if none of your keywords exactly match. So say for example none of those four keywords were an exact match to what we were looking for. We'll be happy to have the word online ad in our headline. But say it does match for online internet advertising and we have dynamic keyword insertion on. Well that's exactly what Focus did. So I hope that helped. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, adam at nerdsdoitbetter.com, or come on by just to nerdsdoitbetter.com. We've got a lot of great material up there. All right, till next time, thank you.